Okay, what is everybody and today we're back again with another video. We are out here on Verhunga Savannah today and today we're going to be looking at everything about the Gemsbuck. So this is going to be a guide on how to hunt them and how to most effectively kill them. We are going to be talking about their two drink zones, their feed zones, we're going to be talking about which guns to use and also their shot placement on them. But let's get started with the basics. So these animals all the way go all the way up from level 1 to level 5. These are one of the exception animals as they can be males and females can score diamond on them. So don't be surprised about that and it's even more common for a female to make diamond. They are a class 8 animal, their max weight is 205 to 240 kilograms and their trophy rating that they need for diamond is 36 point I think it's 5 or something but we'll see that here in just a second. The guns I would highly recommend using on them is either the 338, the 7mm or the 300 Magnum if you have the Yukon DLC. Then secondly, these guys have huge lungs, but I'm going to show you guys on a broadside shot in just a second how to take them down, but generally I would just aim somewhere in that region that we just were, because it will usually always be pretty good. But we're going to look at that in detail in just a second here once I can get down here without hopefully dying. And yeah, we managed that, but let me pick them up and then we're going to move on to the shot placement and their locations. So here we are now, you could see, it was a pretty good shot, but most importantly, these guys have huge lungs. So basically, their lungs end past the half point of their body, if you're just looking at the main body part over here. But what I would always recommend you to do is aim slightly up here, because if you catch double lung and vertebrae, they will drop instantly. I will show a clip of that later on in this video. But yeah, let's quickly, it's 37.5 is what they need for diamond. Just so they know that their max score currently is 356. So you won't find any ones that are above that rating. But it's good to know that, that that is the max score. And like I said, their max weight is 240 kilograms. These guys do give a very good amount of cash for beginners and good XP considering how many of these you can find. Now, they're not the best in terms of weapon score, but if you kill a lot of these, you will get that weapon score as well very quickly. Now, they do have two drinks sometimes. They have one in the morning, that's 4 to 8, or 4.30 to 8.30, 4.30 to 8, anywhere within that range. And then they also drink again at 1800 to 2100. So for anybody that does not use the 24 hour clock, that is basically from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And obviously it can also start at only at 6.30 and it can also end at 9.30 p.m. in the evening as well. Just so that you guys are aware of that. And that's with all zone times, but I just like repeating it for anybody that does not know about it. Now, in terms of fur variations for the games book, there are four, I believe. So count, not counting common, there's a gray, there's a dark, there's a beige, and there's a gold. The only one that is considered rare and not an uncommon is the gold fur variation, and that's basically the animal is completely gold and has no white or black on it. Just so that you guys know that all the other ones, the brown, the gray, or the gold, are all uncommons or just normal fur variations, because you'll usually find a couple of grays and a couple of browns in a single herd of Gemsbuck. Now, let's go over their drinking locations. Favorite one? By far twin lake you'll find a ton of these guys here all around the lake just look around a bit you'll find a ton of them this lake over here usually a ton as well but they're usually hidden in this bottom area here they do like to come here as well but they're usually very hidden so only if you'll probably have to spook them out of here and get them into the open fields to see them but you will find them around there this lake over here i'll just go there very quickly so that i can actually physically show you because it's a little bit different. They stand quite far away from the water, usually, and kind of on an elevated cliff. But if you just spawn in at this location here, you will see that you will have a Gemsbuck just drinking up here on this kind of cliff, which they're far away from the water, but you just have to know it. And once you know it, you'll see them here easily. They also will drink back down there. And sometimes I've seen on multiplayer them drinking over here, but not too commonly. They usually like to stick towards that end edge back there. Now, moving on from that point, I don't think I've ever seen them drinking down here. But again, every map is different and I don't go there too often. 
Now this lake, very popular for Gemsbok as well, just like this lake and this lake over here. They will come over here, but it is a lot, lot smaller in terms of herd sizes. A lot of them do come here though. There's a good amount of Gemsbok here, especially on this back edge over here. So I would recommend going from this outpost, running up here towards this hunting stand, and then just looking down this way to try and spot them. I wouldn't try coming from this way because you'll probably spook all of them away. Now, this lake up here, pretty good as well. Usually though on this back edge once again. I have seen them around here, haven't seen them around there, and you'll occasionally find one or two up here. I don't know if they're back here just because I never hunt because there's no lakes, but there's a good chance that they'll be around there. Now, let's quickly look what I meant about the shot placement. So we're going to go here in a hunting stand because there's a lot of games back here usually, especially warthogs as well. So we should have one that's going to be standing broadside at a good angle so that I can show you kind of what I mean in terms of the shot placement. But let's look. Is there one? Yes. Okay, there's going to be one already there, one candidate. Anything bigger around here that we could maybe get? No, I don't think so. So why don't we wait for him to stop? And then I'll show you guys what I mean with the shot placement. Okay, that other one just didn't want to stand broadside and we only had three of them there anyway. So why don't we look if we can maybe find some here. Because, yeah, look, there's a ton of them there. And there you can see the beige color. They're fleeing from a lion though. There's also the brown variation. And... Yeah, that's the beige. You can see that it's not a gold. Actually, I don't. No, that's not a gold because it has the white and black snout. But that's the brown ones over there, and that back there is just the normal one. And the gray ones have a slight gray tint to them. But that's the only way you can really distinguish them. And yeah, there's a lion that was spooking them away. Usually, you'll have some up behind that hill there. Yeah, you can see some roaming around back there, but. Let me find one now that's going to be standing broadside and not running away. And then I'll show you guys where you guys should aim for that perfect drop shot. Okay, so we've got one back there. It's kind of far out, but it might help us a little bit because of the drop. But where you basically want to aim is you want to kind of aim slightly below the vertebrae. Because what you're trying to hit get is you want to try and get both lungs and the vertebrae because then they will drop instantly. So why don't we try a go with that. That uh, didn't quite work, but that was still a good shot. So I'm going to pick that up and then I'll try and show you there. And then I'm going to try and get another one where it actually managed to hit the shot properly. It is a little bit hard at a distance, but once you get used to it, it usually does work out very, very good and can be very helpful for when you're trying to get multiple ones because if you drop the first one then you just have to track one or two other ones rather than having to track all three of them which can be a little bit confusing sometimes and annoying so it's just helpful for that so here it is now and let me try and show you guys where i mean with the aiming point but yeah we were just too low so ideally if he's standing like this you want to hit that spot right over there because it is a little bit bugged, the vertebrae in general. So if you hit slightly below it, it will still count as though you hit a vertebrae hit. But we were just too much quartering at him to not get the shot. You can get it at a quartering angle, but then I'd usually recommend. So if he's standing something like this, I'd recommend trying to aim slightly around this area. Because otherwise you'll just get a double lung hit or maybe just a single lung hit. Just because the bullet might not penetrate enough, but... You can see that the 300 really does do a great job even at a distance so i would highly highly recommend you going for that but i still want to show you guys how to do that but before we do that let's talk about feed zones very quick because those are going to start in about 20 in-game minutes if you just walk around this kind of circle that i'm drawing right now and even up here in this area so not a circle but more of a a triangular shape if you look through this whole area you will find at least 20 to 30 feed zones also i would always recommend of course placing that tent over here and down in this valley you will find a ton and i mean a ton of gemsbuck plus it's open you're elevated you can shoot a lot of them down there just make sure to not delete the zones i sadly did that mistake once at one point and so i don't have quite as many here anymore 
and they all move to different areas but i would recommend you looking down this area now with that being said i think we covered everything but i still want to show you guys that kind of drop shot placement just so you know what i mean and i also want to test it because it might be that it got fixed out so i might have just been talking bs here the entire time but let me find a kim's buck that's broadside and then i'm going to test that out for you got a four coming in there and you know what i'll just try taking it on the trot and wow okay so it does still work i didn't think i'd manage it that i can't hit it on a standing games but but a walking one i somehow managed to do it wow okay well let me go over there and show you where i aimed and what i mean in terms of the principle i think in general you guys should have understood what i mean what i meant sorry for that but yeah, it does really work, and it's a really cool animation. It feels so satisfying when it does actually finally work, because it is always cool if you get like a hard shot or like if you just drop an animal straight in his tracks. I just think it's like one of the best feelings in the game, other than of course getting a diamond or a rare, but yeah, let me go over there and show you guys where we had to hit it to get that shot. So as you can see here, we do have the full vital blood score. It does still like tremble one or two meters and then it just falls over and tips over and then it's just slid down this hill a little bit. But this is what I mean. You can get, we were nowhere near the vertebrae, but we still got the double lung and vertebrae hit. It does check all of the harvest checks if you use the right gun. So it does work. So I would highly recommend going for the shot. It's really efficient. You just have to practice it a little bit to get it to work but that's going to be it with this guide if you guys did enjoy this guide and found it helpful please do remember to hit that like button and also if you're new around here or you just have not subscribed yet do so hit that red button hit the bell icon so you're always notified when i upload new content like this if you have any other guides that you want to see make sure to comment them down below and write them in my v in my discord video suggestion channel there as well because i'll look at that and choose about content that i'll do the link to my discord is in the description down below and most importantly have a good day bye bye and peace